In this video, we will talk about the basic configuration of bandwidth management on Sanfran JF. The bandwidth management function guarantee or restrict the traffic size of various internet accessing applications by establishing bandwidth management channels. There are some basic configuration for configuring bandwidth management on Sanfran JF. Step 1, set the corresponding external interface as the one attribute. Step 2, create a new line policy. Step 3, configure the bandwidth channel and select the corresponding application. In this video, we will demonstrate on how to configure bandwidth management on Sanfran JF. The picture shown here is our sample topology for this tutorial. First, go to Network, Interfaces. Select the one interface. Make sure one attribute is ticked for one interface. In this tutorial, I1 interface is F1. Next, go to Policies, Bandwidth Management, Line Definition. In Lines, configure the one interface as Egress Interface. Fill in the actual bandwidth of the ISP in both outbound and inbound bandwidth. After done settings, click OK. Go to Line Policy. Click on Add to create a new line policy for the line that just created. Configure the protocol and address for the line policy. In this tutorial, we will select all for the protocol and address. Select the line we just configured as Internet Line. Click OK. From here, we can see that the new line policy has been added. Next, go to Bandwidth Channel. Click Enable Bandwidth Management System. Click on Add to add a new bandwidth channel. Name the channel. Select the line we just created as target line. There are two types of channel, one is guaranteed channel and another one is limited channel. When the network is busy, the guaranteed channel guarantee the bandwidth is no smaller than the minimum bandwidth specified. Whereas for limited channel, when the network is busy, the limited channel does not exceed the maximum bandwidth specified. In this tutorial, we will configure limited channel and limit per user max bandwidth to limit the bandwidth usage. We will set 1.6 megabits per second for both inbound and outbound maximum bandwidth. 1.6 megabits per second is equivalent to 200 kilobytes per second. Next, go to Applicable Objects. Configure the application, source and destination, object and schedule. In this tutorial, we will select all application, source and destination, object and schedule as all week. After done settings, click OK. From here, we can see that the new bandwidth channel has been added. Until here, the bandwidth management configuration has been done. Now, we will test the bandwidth management on the PC. In order to verify the result, we have disabled the bandwidth channel so that we can know the original speed. Test to download a file from the internet. From here, we can see that the original download speed is around 2.5 megabytes per second. Now, we will enable back the bandwidth channel we have configured just now. Notice that the speed has started reducing to around 200 kilobytes per second, which is the speed we have configured in the channel. In conclusion, the bandwidth has been limited. There are some precautions for bandwidth management configuration. Outbound and inbound are recommended to fill in the actual bandwidth of the ISP. VPN does not support in bandwidth management. The one interface need to set the one attribute for bandwidth management to take effect.